The next de developer integration I want to give an overview on is the IDE integration. This is where developers actually live, where they actually are doing their coding. We just released a built-in GPT assistant that can provide a quick remediation advice, assistance, and explanation of infrastructure's code files. Users can initiate checkmark scans within their IDE to verify their fixes with our incremental or delta scanning. Scans are also done in the background while developers are editing files in real time. One of the key features is auto remediation, which will be highlighted in the following walkthrough. Here's a screenshot of, the, of what the IDE extension looks like. You can see it goes side by side with the developer's source code. You can filter on severity, and by default, we limit to only seeing high and medium, so developers can focus on the most important ones that Checkmarks has identified. When developers write fixes in their code, they can initiate scans right away, right within their IDE, and show the new results when the scan is finished. Let's take a look at a static analysis finding. In this example, a developer needs to verify a SQL injection that is in a file uh, login.java. Clicking on this finding, they can go directly into their, um, their, to, into their remediation advice. So in this window that we have highlighted, it, will show, it shows three main types of remediation advice. It gives a detailed finding on the specific vulnerability that was identified. If this looks familiar, it's the same one that we saw in the bug ticket that was created earlier. We can click on the, on the Learn More tab to get more generic information on exactly what the SQL injection is. And lastly, we can see good and bad code examples in the programming language that the developer is coding in. Developers can also triage the vulnerability right within the IDE. This is a prime example of keeping the developers within their development ecosystem. Every function that they can do inside the Checkmarks 1 platform, they can do without leaving the IDE. Another piece of remediation advice developers can receive is our code bashing courses. Code bashing is a six to eight minute interactive gamified way of learning about security vulnerabilities. It's tailored to the programming language that developer is coding in, and this link will take you to a direct link to that specific vulnerability course. So for this example, it would be a Java SQL injection course. The last piece of remediation advice for stack analysis findings is the attack vector. The attack vector is like a data trace. It allows you to see the data coming into your application all the way to the sink. In the IDE, it links directly to the line of source code. So when you click on any of these links here, it will open up in the source code browser so you can edit uh, the fix right within the IDE. 6.1 is a platform of multiple engines. We display all of our engine results right within the IDE extension. So let's take a look at uh, infrastructure's code security finding. For an infrastructure's code security finding, not only do we tell you what is wrong, but we also tell you the exact change that is needed. We have built in automated local scans for infrastructure's code security. So when a, so a scan is automatically ran whenever a file is open or edited. When a local scan is finished, we will highlight the security vulnerabilities in the source, and by hovering over it, it will give you an option for a quick fix. This auto remediation feature will automatically apply the fix instead of having a developer manually enter it. If developers still have issues remediation, remediating the infrastructure's code security result, they can use our built-in GPT assistant. It will detail the exact details of the IAC file and how to fix the vulnerability as well. The last scan engine that I want to highlight is the SEA engine's engine results. SEA results within the IDE also has the auto remediation feature. Developers get remediation advice on what package needs to be upgraded and gives an, a quick fix option to upgrade, which removes any manual intervention again. 